Кто украл? Держите его! Добро всегда возвращается.
Каждый мой слог, каждый сердце стук, все лишь для тебя, Иисус, вся моя жизнь, я к тебе стремлюсь, все лишь для тебя. Спой эти слова ему прямо сейчас. God, we call up your name to this place. Raise your hands up to God. We're going to call the name of the Lord God Almighty in our lives. Together with angels, together with heavens, we are worshiping the great God Almighty. Whoever has gotten connected to the live stream, this is the most amazing time to praise for a living God and to praise His name and worship it. Father God, we ask that the presence of the Holy Spirit of yours will fill this place in the name of Jesus. We pray together with those who are watching us, with our huge family, with our cell groups, each servant, each person that is here, brothers and sisters, all our friends around the globe. Call up the name of the living God. He is close to those who call up on Him. Father God, we are thankful today that we are in Your house that we are here under the covering of yours, our great Heavenly Father, our mighty Father. We are thankful that peace and the joy of the Holy Spirit fills our souls in the name of Jesus. We are thankful that this day we can gather as your family on the earth to honor your name to worship you, to give you glory, to testify of your great deeds in our lives to the edge of this world. Father God, we ask you right now, Father, let your presence become the most real one. In the name of the Lord Jesus, friends, let agree in this, let's agree in this short prayer we are going to going to call up the name of a living God and our hearts and our souls and bodies, our houses, let them be filled with his genuine, live, living, uh, living presence that we can feel. Let the spirit of the living God will de divide you from those difficulties and sorrows that could take your joy or make your life dim. Right now, we're blessing this gathering. All together, friends, let's call out the name of the Lord and the, and the name of the Holy Spirit, His presence, His power, the power of God. And let it grasp each and every one of you in the name of Jesus. 
Open up your heart before God. He wants to have a conversation personally with you. He wants to come to your obstacles today. He wants to tell you particularly a living, the living word that's going to rise you up to the new level of your life. Father, all the glory belongs to you. Jesus, all the glory belongs to you. Oh, Holy Spirit, we're getting fulfilled with your power right now. The power for ministry that was birthed by heavens, we calling up the power of heavens to this place. Open up your heart today and call up the name of the Lord. Our loving Father, we bless the sanctified time of yours, this gathering. Let your answers come to the life of those that are expecting this to come. Just put your heart on your heart and tell God that I'm, I've come here to meet you personally, and I know this day was appointed so you could fulfill the miracle in my life. Today, when the man of God is going to pray and share the word, the living power of God is going to cooperate personally with me. Say it about yourself, whoever in this hall, whoever here with us, just say it with faith, I have come to meet my God. I'm not going to leave he, this place this being the same. I'm going to hear the voice of my loving Father. The, the grace of God is going to touch me, of Jesus Christ, and the power of the Holy Spirit is going to anoint my whole life so I'll become the most happy, the most healthy, the most joyful, the most blessful, blessed, the most prosperous in the name of Jesus. Right now, give him glory. Glory to God. And tell him right now, I am with God. I have come here that the Holy Spirit will fill my heart. I know that today is the day of my miracle. I know that today is getting changed right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's worship God more. It's an amazing time. It's an amazing time. Whoever are watching us right now, whoever is here in the name of G, in the name of the Holy Spirit, hug each other. We, we greet you here today on this place, guys. Every person, let this gathering and this day and this service and this prayer that you're expecting, let it bring answers from God to your life. Stay every second, stay with us, and God is going to do his job and be focused on God and his work. And you're going to have a conversation with the living God, and you're going to to receive your miracle. Let it be so. Worship God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All the glory to our God. Let's worship Him. Let's continue. Let's dance. Let's let's be rejoice. Let's rejoice in the Lord because He's worthy. He's worthy all the worship. Чужие
God's word says that we should worship God loud, powerfully. Do it together with me. Jump for him. More and more.
Никогда не скажи, великий Бог. Ну, что-то там, как обычная песня рядовая. Никогда, слышишь? Не вздумай даже. Каждое слово должно у тебя выходить из духа. Each and every word that you sing to the Lord is supposed to come out from your spirit. Don't just sing because you want to sing. Sing. Don't just be a plain person. Not with God. God is going to solve each and every issue of your life. Hallelujah. All the glory to Him. Lord God Almighty. Almighty God. Worshiping God. Louder and louder. Hallelujah. Let's jump for God. Let's jump for God. Hallelujah. Thank you, dear Levites. It's a very cool worship. God comes mightily. When we start worshiping Him, when we bow down to Him, His presence count, comes down on us to this place. It's an amazing time. Be seated, our friends. We greet you, all of those who are watching us, our friends, the ones that gather this Sunday morning, Sunday day. Post your TVs, smartphones, computers. You're getting united together with us through the internet. And you and all of us are a great family through all over the world. We're getting touched with Lord God Almighty, with the living God. It's a very interesting time right now. It's an amazing time. When the Holy Spirit everything that's been told through our apostle many many months along in a row especially during this six months everything that God said through the vision that God is going to do through our church what God is going to do through you guys through the ones that are watching us and today we we have like sort of the first uh, points, sort, sort of uh, points, results, some fruits, some special processes that already began all over the world. Holy Spirit is moving in salvation of people through the internet. He reaches them. He reaches those people and each and every one of you, just like me and others that are watching, we are called by God to, to serve people around, all around the globe. We can give glory to God right now for this. Thank you, Lord. And we have certain people, brothers and sisters, that are already waiting to get it connected to us. Pastor Arthur, together with his helper, Dmitry, from Moldova. And Pastor Arthur is serving in Moldova. He is uh, ministering the church, leading the church right now. And it's very interesting that approximately uh, three, four months ago, they had a meeting with the apostle. Uh, bishops were meeting with the apostle. And they were talking and they were planning where they are going to come, new cities, new countries, new places. And Pastor Arthur said that I would like to go to Romania. It's a country that is next to, to, to him. And so Apostle blessed him and that, and that decision to move in that certain place, but when you don't understand exactly what it is, if you already have this made-up decision to serve God and move in, in salvation of people, it is really important to God. Holy Spirit is going to show you the way on how to reach people in, in every part of the world. 
And so in a very short time, his helper Dmitry understands and realizes and experiences that teaching that Apostle has given to us. Remember when he was teaching about that you should have, you have to preach to the nations. And nations are those people, the category of people, we have sportsmen, we have artists, people that love arts and, and so on. So Dmitry, he experienced a miracle in his life. He got delivered from depression. He has such a huge depression. And when he experienced that miracle by listening to the teaching of the apostle, he understood that he now can go and go to those people that, that were suffering from depression and those people that have some fears and phobias, and there was, though those are nations, and he already can come to them and testify about miracles, about God, about what he experienced. So they uh, advised with each other, and they planned so-called seminar. Uh, they planned a seminar with a prayer for those people. And they began, through the social network, they uh, sort of made a advertisement for Romanian people. And so there are special groups of uh, people, like gatherings, uh, people that you know, uh, had a lot of phobias and depressions, and those people get connected together and they're talking about these topics. So they, uh, they actually uh, advertised the seminar in those groups. It was sort of an advertising. So they actually made the seminar. It took place. And, uh, but as the result, it happened to, to, them, to be that uh, just because of one seminar from one country, they've managed to talk to 30 people that they're already talking to them, that they're already friends with, and they're part of people. They're part of people that already is part of the cell group. Can you imagine the church and those people that are in Moldova, they began to serve through the internet to those people that are in Romania and God is reaching them today. Isn't it cool? It's amazing. And today that they're here with us, could you please... Uh, could you please put it on the screens? Hi, guys. I don't even know which screen I should look into. Hi. Hi, Pastor Arthur, Dmitry. Hi, guys. Luda. We are so happy to see you. Yeah, so they're the people that are with you that actually got connected through your evangelizing through the internet. So we have Natalia. Hi. She... She's Romanian, but she knows Greek, English. It's amazing. And she knows Russian. Can you imagine? Wow. So you already guys are sort of prepared to move forward, right? All right, we're going to go to Greece, right? Amen. Let's give glory to God for Greece. Greeks, we are coming. Wait for us. That's amazing. Who else is there with you? Okay, so we have a family, a wife and a husband, Adi and Magda. They're from Romania. They're waving at you right now. Hi, guys. By the way, this is a very interesting family. It's an amazing family. We got to meet each other. I met Adi first. He had a huge depression. He was suicidal. And his wife knew that he's about to die. He has lost his job. He didn't leave his house. He was suffering so much. And he was already ready to give up. So it happened to be that he got connected to our service. And so he, he actually got totally normal. And so the vibe have seen these results and shows she believed in God for real. Can you imagine? 
so happens to be that this evangeliz evangelism for the people that, that went through a lot of fears, phobias, and depression. So you took this particular uh, sort of people and you actually reached them. This family is like an example of, of that is actually coming to pass. And there is no depression here anymore. He feels himself, he feels amazing right now. He actually resumed his job, he started working. He actually couldn't leave the house. Now he leaves the house and he can even pick up the kid from school. He could not even do that before. Can you imagine? Now he does that. So Dmitri, let's ask brother Adi, what, what can he share right now, what story he can tell according to what he has gone through for those people that are probably watching us right now for the first time. Could you please ask him that question? You, oh, you ask him this question. Magda, Hello. Hello. I was in a huge depression before. I had de depressive uh, thoughts. Și atunci am dat de de Dumitru pe Facebook. Și atunci și tăcda ne tălcunse la Facebook la sfârșitul unei nas. And then I've seen the ministry on Facebook. I've seen the advertisement. În fiecare miercuri de la ora 10 la ora 10 săptămâna. Și i начал мы начали на домашнюю группу общаться о Святом Духе. And so we started talking about the Holy Spirit in our cell group already. I understood that the Holy Spirit is a person and I can get closer to him. The more we talked about the Holy Spirit, I started feeling better and better and better, and all these problems started disappearing and vanishing away. Uh, and then I understood that this is my way that I need to follow and understood that whatever that apostle does and, uh, and what Dmitri is uh, translating right now is very close to my heart. Hallelujah. Wow, let's give glory to God for that. Such a joy and happiness, I don't really understand a word, but I'm so happy that today the gospel is reaching people that are talking in, other, in not the other language. It's amazing. And my friends, these are just the first drops, the first taste of it. We just started because it was just a month ago, but when they have 30 people that they're communicating with, it's not all the people. There are much more, many more people. And we would like to sort of 
uh, conclude this conversation. Pastor Arthur, I would like to ask you this question. Now, wait a minute. I know that you guys already started worshiping in Romanian. Could you please show us a little bit? We have a, a recording of that just for a couple of minutes, for a couple of seconds, so we could see the way we worship God in Romanian language. We have this opportunity right now, the technical opportunity to put it on the screens. It's amazing. Super. That's amazing. Luda, guitar suits you so well. I didn't even, didn't even know you could play. They taught her in Moldova how to play this way. You guys are very annoyed people. Pastor Arthur, could you please say, what are your plans for the future? So these are the first drops of the rain. So what is going to happen in the future? What are you reaching for right now? Pastor Michael, we, I would like to say a couple of words concerning the plan. It's not the first time that I'm seeing that there is a through our anoint that there is a, a power that is moving through our apostle, the anointed man of God, and then you're getting involved in this flow, and then you're just watching the results and the fruits, and then you're getting shocked in the end, and you're getting shocked. How come it's possible? I understand you well, so I would like to, to uh, turn the attention more, not for, all, for those plans, but the, mo the more we attentive uh, to the word of uh, the Lord through the apostle and through that strategy and the way God wants to move uh, through the internet, that he uh, got the strategy about nations that these are the uh, the goal teams and groups and apostle would gather us and he, he would ask us what country would you like to uh, uh, the holy spirit to move in for you to be in there and we have this Moldavian joke that practically I understood that we can already move in that place, but we could actually see that the blessing is sort of spreading, that blessing of God through the apostle, and people started started uh, appearing from actually from out of nowhere and we understood that the Holy Spirit is already supporting us in this and we're just watching all what's happening and when you guys talked about Greece from the stage I already understand that soon we're going to see Greek people on our territory wow amen Pastor Arthur, I know that you already have people from England, from Italy, correct? So today, the church from Moldova is already moving in this vision and reaching people in different countries, not only in Romania. It's amazing. Pastor Arthur, it's so cool. It's just, it's really, it's just, wow. And we're so happy and we're so glad that we're a part, a part of the Regeneration Church, a part of this ministry that God has poured out on the Apostle and Pastor Misha. You know, I'm just, it's like I'm burning inside and I want to talk about this all the time. Unfortunately, uh, 
you know, people not always understand how what cherishable the stone is in the face of the apostle on this earth these spiritual principles uh, 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 Joshua and uh, the Moses and I would read about Joshua today and I think it was a chapter 3 or 4 about uh, him saying that about all those uh, different tribes of Israel and the way he was directing people and he was sort of a leader and he had this vision and he's giving you this strategy but but I'm like talking to you a person who's watching right now be firm be brave and let this teaching won't ever leave your mouth these are such a cool and deep things in the name of Jesus through our apostle and such an anointing such a revelation that you won't ever be able to hear from nowhere don't drag your attention out of these things just drag inside this teaching and you will see that the anointing is going to move through you till the end of the world just like we see in Romania amen 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 the whole church and the ones that are watching us let's give glory to God for our apostle and pastor Victoria that God has raised up and put before each and every one of us and for those nations and the na and the earth around the earth Pastor Arthur, I also know that you guys are sort of establishing a plan and uh, you guys are going to translate uh, preachings, uh, sermons of Pastor Victoria and Apostle Victoria to Romanian language and it's basically uh, getting uh, ready to uh, to take place. We're already buying up some, some techniques and the call centers are going to be uh, to be appeared and we is going to uh, be appeared and uh, we could see Mongolian people, just two people, but they're already serving and that's amazing they already serve so easy but each and every one of us can can be a participant of, and in this in this vision to reach those people and those nations there are so many people and, and it's shaking us from the inside it shakes us from the inside thank you pastor arthur and i would like to ask you this let us pray all together right now for one minute so God could bless. He already sort of exposed this vision already. He already opens us things through the apostle, but we would like to pray for every person to uh, sort of enter this vision and be a participant of this world evangel uh, evangelism. Let's pray. All right. So when Paul text, uh, writes Timothy about the gift of the Lord that's in you, you receive through my hand. And Holy Spirit, we thank you that you led us to this ministry for, uh, uh, be, be with this leader of your anointed one, the leader, the Apostle Vladimir, and we are so happy that through his, uh, through his uh, anointing and, through, and that you've given up this gift on him and you poured it out on him and it pours out on us and we ask you so we could become those vessels that you're going to move through forward to the edge of this world, to the end of this world, that power, that anointing that wisdom that is getting poured out of the heavens through the apostle let that it be poured out through each and every one of us like the team and let it reach those countries and hearts of those people that you have entrusted us with and we ask you holy spirit let the power and the anointing that you are outpouring through your anointed person let it reach through us till the end of the world in the name of Jesus let it be so amen church amen we thank you thank you guys 
dear church. It's amazing. Let's give glory again for such a new time. God is doing something that we've never seen on this earth before. We're participating in this. Uh, our friends, let's give glory to God. We thank you. Listen, when love of God is outpouring on this earth, the souls are getting sold, the nations, languages, the tribes, just as it's written as in the to the end of the world, the healing comes to uh, our houses, destiny is get changed and our service that the Holy Spirit has anointed it reaches each and every sphere of uh, our lives and we are those people that are preaching about these things not because in words but we always know how to make things happen and good deeds happen and I would like to turn this attention uh, to the occasion that we actually had it's, we have this sort of uh, pro promotion is that we should give good thing, things to, uh, to children and put smile on their faces. Let's just watch. Let's not only talk about this. We gathered here together with adults and kids, and so we made a feast for them, and we made a table, set a table for them, the fried meat, and a lot of other things. I came here today to just to have a walk with my friends and to meet Pasha. Hi guys, how do you doing? I'm good. And we hope that the love leaders of the cell group are going to join us too. We're thankful that you can give such a smile to our kids. Thank you. Just right now, when the ministry of the services began, we are getting all kinds of photos, and it's happening right now. Amazing. So tomorrow is the beginning of summer. We congratulate you. Congratulate you. It comes from the day of the Kids' Day. Let's give glory to God. Everything is starting right now. One of my friends joked, and he said, well, I, when I watch my kids in this special day, I could call it this is the day of uh, kids' protection, but it's a joke, you know, and we just love our kids, and it's just a great family, and all our cell groups, and our internet church, we have ideas of how it's going to happen in a beautiful way and we're going to continue this work to greet our kids and celebrate with them and we're going to have uh, uh, cell groups that are dedicated to families and kids and we're going to have a lot of promotions that are oriented on, on those places we're going to go to those places that people are with special needs people that need special treatment and, and warmth and hope it's amazing that we have understanding of how exactly God wants to reveal himself on this earth, a good, kind Lord. And you can say to yourself that I know the kind and the good Lord because the goodness of God is inside us. We are so thankful to you, our beloved Father, that we have this godly uh, quality to uh, make good things happen on this earth. And whoever participates in this uh, 
service and within a short period of time his apostle is going to come up to the stage and he's going to pray and share the word of the Lord. We have expecting this time for so long. Do you remember us praying? And we're so thankful to you guys, our intercessors. This is our, our, oh, our, our victory. And those people that God here is a man. And this miracle happened in this place and our spiritual leaders are going to come up and it's going to be a special ministry just wait on the lord and i would like to just take a minute please so we could just talk about the covenant with the lord the relationship with the lord through our finances and our financial covenant and our sir ministry and I would like to one slide to appear in our screams. And it talks about God's eyes that is watching all the earth to support special people on this earth. Those people that that are that are really dedicated to the Lord. And I know that this is the word about the faithful giver. It's not just a person who just talks beautifully or behaves right. He does one deed, one deed together with God on this earth. So apply this word to you. Just read it with your own heart. And this word is from the heart of the Lord. And also you that is participating with us together in this service. And you're, you're watching or you're not watching. Just apply this word to yourself. And to confirm these words i would like us to watch a little video about the person that a few months ago couldn't even didn't even have a destiny he didn't even know what to do in this life but by the touch of the lord and the covenant with him has changed the life of this lady and her household Hi, everybody. I'm Natalia from Moldova. Approximately one and a half months ago, I actually invested in one thing and I actually got burned out and I had a lot of debts. And so I had a huge depression because of that. I could not live anymore. I would be very angry at people. Every I would blame everybody, my kids, my family, friends. I thought maybe they're all unhappy and their life is treating me uh, unfair and everything is cool with other people but it's not has nothing to do with me so I started searching uh, some certain sermons of people that they believed and their faith ro rose up so thus I've uh, heard a testimony from our spiritual regeneration cha center from our church and it touched me so so deep so I started listening to the sermons of pastor Vladimir Muntan and they were inspire me so much and it was a alter. Uh, it was a call to become a partner, and so I I made a decision to become one. And after I became a partner, my life started changing. And I have two kids. And before the church, each and every year they would get very sick, like approximately eight times in a year, even in summer, all the time. And my half of the salary would just be for those medicine and when it became a partner since that my kids never got sick anymore and I never even spent a penny on a drug or medicine and my kid can eat an ice cream freely and won't get sick that's amazing 
And uh, on my first cell group, I've gotten the healing from the headache. I had uh, headaches, and I would just wake up with headaches, and I would go to bed with headaches, and I it was uh, during the three years approximately, and it was uh, such a miracle for me. And I was so shocked the way God is such a living God and the way He moves in people's lives. And in, in four, within the fourth month, four months, my mom came to church. And that time, I thought maybe whoever, whoever, but my mom would never come to church. But she was the first one to come to the church, and I'm so happy, sincerely happy. And I and I see her being happy, and her life is being changed. And a few months ago, she became a partner. She made a decision. So we made this decision. And uh, because of faith, we uh, we actually uh, uh, made our kids and our father the partner as well. And you know what I see? I see that the relationship with my kids and, and especially with my son. And I had a difficulty communicating with. He's such a little kid, but we had a, such a wall before. And so my father, you know, he was suffering with those headaches too. And he could just take uh, those uh, pills like candies every day because nothing would help him. But right now, already for a few months, he he doesn't even take uh, those pills for weeks already. He, he's not even sick anymore. And it's such an amazing grace of God and relationship. And when our family started being better, my parents uh, started treating themselves better. And I'm seeing them happy. And God is moving in such a way in our lives. And now our church is a real blessed church. I'm so thankful to our Pastor Victoria and Apostle Vladimir Muntan for this church, for this example, for that love that they reveal to each and every one of us. You guys are amazing. You're, you're the most amazing people. I love you guys, and I'm so happy to be a part of your church and be in your team. You're the most amazing people. Dear friend, become a partner as well, and you're going to see how cool your life is and the way it changes. I'm the partner, and I'm the partner too. Approximately two days ago, I watched this video, and it actually broke my heart and touched my heart. And I understood that there is no difficulties for God to be able to change the life of the person in one second. And it's just so important that for our hearts to get open before God. And when I was watching that video, honestly speaking, I was shocked. And uh, just like in front of everybody, the, the destiny of that person changed just like that. And I had such a desire to meet this uh, woman uh, personally, and her name is Natalia, so I got connected to her, and we spoke to each other yesterday, and, and the things I've heard from her is actually made me, uh, made me amazed on how God, the way God is mighty, and the way He's mighty for those that are opening their hearts to Him. And... And the eyes of the Lord are on those people that, that he actually raises up and makes them happy. So Natalia is with us. Hi, Natasha. <laughs> Hi, Pastor. How do your church? Do you hear us well? Yes, I can hear you well. And we can see you. You're shining. You know, I'm so sure that every person that is watching you starts to believe that there is happiness in this world, right? And most importantly, uh, we actually have something to compare it with because not long ago it was so different. Your life was so different. Could you tell us what actually happened uh, less than a year ago in August? What were you facing? Oh, approximately one and a half years ago, 
I actually invested in something to uh, rise up and I would always travel and work and so I decided to invest and I was burned so much and uh, and I the depression started because everybody would be around me and I had some moments that I said mom you know what I the only thing that's left is to hang myself on the rope because everything is so bad and so I started asking money from people it's like a chain of circumstances like I'm taking money from one person and then I'm giving it to another one and they're growing and growing and and I couldn't leave live anymore and my kids were not happy and I was not happy with them anymore so my mom offered to to look for something about about faith you know that you could actually get better so we started looking for this and I actually looked to I started watching a lot of people that you know probably could help me but it would never touch me and by accident I uh, I actually seen the short video of our apostle and he would uh, talk about the Jesus and his uh, sacrifice and so and so it was all applied to me that's where I actually came to and to this decision and so I started watching this video everything would touch me so strong already it was so uncommon they would touch me in a special way and today you can see that whatever God does he has put a pulpit, set a pulpit on the internet, and you can see people getting saved through the internet just because a person watched a little short video. God has come to this, and she got fulfilled with this anointing. And probably you've, you've been visiting a church before, right? When you were a kid, correct? But not your family. And then you got uh, backslid, that you backslid, correct? I think I was 19 years old, and so I backslid, and, and then you had this disconnection with God, let's say, you got separated from Him, correct? So I've been told that because you left the church, God is going to punish you so bad, and you have a lot of problems in your life, and they got me scared so bad, then I literally, I even got scared, you know, you know passing by the church, I was so scared, frightened by those people see guys this is a story from life story of a life story that if you're not in the Holy Spirit it can kill the destiny of the person of a person and Natalia had years and years and years of this scary life with no joy and full of fear she was afraid of God afraid of church and it led to all these things, all those circumstances, you had a very unhappy marriage, your father left you alone with your kids, and then you had to work all the time, and then you had this dead, debt and everything, and you didn't know where to go. And so one beautiful day, one beautiful day, the anointed word that you've heard through the computer, through the internet, she was not even a part of the church, but for already for many years, God, Holy Spirit is touching her, and she uh, gets repented before God, and and then in two days, you had an online service, correct? So could you please tell us what happened there? So it was a worship, Sunday worship. To be honest with you, I didn't even concentrate on the worship. It didn't touch me. I just wanted a prayer. I was expecting something. I was expecting to come and get the answer, like this sort of understanding that you can't like totally grasp everything 100% because you can't fully understand that this is actually happening. But the but apostle would call up to become a partner, so it touched me so bad and it put me and set me in a fire. And so I understood that the partners are only those who are rich and the ones that have money. But I wanted to understand and get to know these things. And so when I've I started calling uh, in the call center and when I got a call back, they started explaining me things. 
uh, that you can begin with uh, any amount and it's amazing that God is moving and you know what honestly I, I was so delighted by this and so that's why I came to the cell group this way through the partnership and everything and I got such a nice family oh Lord Jesus let's give him glory just for this particular uh, particular testimony when the Holy Spirit touches your hand and takes your hand and by faith you can take your hand and tell God to lead you completely tell him that you believe him totally trust your life and dedicate it to the Lord this is the most amazing life and path and most happiness and in the, within the sh little short period of time Natasha became a part of a cell group in Moldova and we've seen her leader Dima he would be uh, he was translating for us so Moldova is on top today <laughs> thank God for these servants so guys listen she has become a part of a cell group and on the first cell group on the first cell group gathering she uh, she gets the total she receives total healing of her head she was in pain for years how many years did it was hurting you I think maybe more three years or maybe more to be honest with you guys I don't even remember anymore I had such headaches that I couldn't even I couldn't even uh, take coffee with with no, with no sugar because nothing would have helped me again so God God healed you from this disease let him let him let give him glory let's give him glory father God this world is a testimony for someone today and so when Natasha and her cell group they came for the summit on 2019 and on this stage she remembers that prayer when Apostle was praying and uh, the Holy Spirit touched her so bad and the power of God came upon her and she got total uh, total deliverance from the spirit of depression from those uh, fears and those uh, feelings that she had tell us about it before church I was afraid of everything I was like feeling bad and people would tell me things that you're not bad or maybe they would gossip about me I would I wouldn't eat for days and I would be in depression because of that and I would be so bad and because of that I got delivered because of from all that thank God and when I came home I noticed that I actually already free from all that and right now it's so easy for me guys I can't even describe my feelings what I feel everybody that is watching look at this person everybody that is in Kiev just zoom this face and can you actually believe that this person was actually having such a great depression a few months ago could you actually believe in that look at her could you give the glory to the Lord right now everything started from uh, the person opening their heart before the Lord and maybe the person didn't understand fully what the partnership is but made a decision to uh, be with the Lord and then they cell group one healing another healing and after that your mom came to Jesus correct yes yes in January she uh, came to our first cell group gathering and in February she already made a decision to become a partner is your mom with you right now yes she's here could you introduce your mom to us please what's your name hi guys I'm Mila Mila the whole world is watching you guys right now and they're happy for you are you happy I'm very happy and Natasha said that her mom came to Jesus she got healing from cataract from the eye disease today yes and I confirmed that I had all kinds of regenerational curses and I had deliverance and I was testifying about it so one person comes to the Lord just one person whoever prays for their family become a partner and start serving in this covenant don't be afraid 
for your closest one, you are going to get saved and your household is going to get saved. You can say it loudly. Amen. Say that you are going to get saved and the whole household and my whole uh, gender tree. But it's not it. And so the mom is also a partner, correct? And your kids are already proclaiming that they're partners, correct? And Natasha's kids were sick for years and years, few times a month. They they would have all kinds of diseases and they need a lot of medicine. And after they become partners, what happened with your kids? After I become a partner, my kids would never never get sick from that time never never aren't you uh, tired of worshiping God aren't you tired of worshiping God because of those miracles let's give the glory to God mightily whoever is watching us do you see what God does in the living church what about your dad Oh, so we've made our family and our and my father a partner. So uh, for more than six years, he had those headaches, but it was worse than I had. He could like take five, six pills a day. Nothing would help him. We would buy him like the most strongest pills. And so he got a healing. And so right now he, he takes only maybe one, two pills uh, a week. He already got healed, not even knowing that he is a partner. So could you like talk about the moment, about your decision? Why did you understand that, that everybody should become a partner in your family? What happened? So it was a TV crusade in February, in the beginning of February. And on the second day of the TV crusade, we had a testimony about a woman that she made her three kids a partner and her husband and he didn't have a job and her older daughter too and so she was sharing she would share a lot of uh, stories and the way her life changed and her husband finding a job and that kids would always have uh, food in the family and so that god would bless their family so it touched me so deep and my mom was not in the country back then but she would watch that service and after that i called my mom and i said i would like to make my kids partners and she said and i would like to do the same too it touched her too so she became she decided to make our father a partner my father her husband that's how the testimonies from the Holy Spirit were guys and whoever is watching us our operators you can actually uh, put it on the screen those uh, numbers that whoever loved the Lord and wants to serve in the covenant for him you can uh, tithe and give your partnership you see those digits, you see how deep, you see the deep revelation of the Holy Spirit in the lives of partners of God. And so, Natasha, it's just like a slight, slight conversation and slight dialogue about this. But most importantly, what happened is that you actually people got to understand that God is the real God through this covenant. And he becomes real and he changes destinies. Look at the healings and salvations. And what's going on in your family? What about your your parents, about your kids? Like a couple of words. Well, we are so happy, and you know that my mom and my and my dad, they're like uh, newly be lovers, and they're like lovebirds right now, and I'm watching them, and I'm getting happy with them. The partners of God are happy people. Let's give them glory. They're never getting old. And I'm having very good relationship with my kids. And I had very bad relationship with my son. But now we have such a love, such a strong love. Oh, Father God, I'm so thankful. Let's just get up and pray. And I would like to tell you, uh, Natasha, could you please bless uh, all the guys that are watching us, you and your mom. What would you like to wish to those that need God? And maybe let's just pray. Pray for those people and just give your wishes.
My dear friend, brothers and sisters in church, I would like to tell you something important. And it's very important to be open to the Lord, to search, to look for something, not being a not to be afraid of anything become a partner become partners and be faithful to the lord and when we are faithful god is blessing us mightily sometimes i would just wake up and feel myself so happy i can't even express this feeling thank you what about brothers and sisters accept jesus and I wish uh, happiness to everybody, health to everybody. My life has changed and your life is going to get changed too. Feel the power of the Holy Spirit on your lives. We're thankful, guys. Guys, be with us. And in a few minutes, we're going to have a prayer. And Apostle Vladimir is going to pray here in Kiev. And so Natasha and Mila and the whole family of yours the ones that are in the Kiev temple, the ones that are participating in, in the service, this is the time that we never had before in this life. And God is so close to us, and He comes to each every in every sphere in our lives. And He is already a partner to us. So take your offering, take your tithes, your tithes and offering, and, and you came with a gift. This is your heart. Your faith is in this. Your love, your feelings is in this. Your hopes and your dreams. Your new obstacles in your family and health, and with your kids, with your husbands, parents, mothers and dads, at work, in ministry. In ministry. And God has done everything. And I'm praying together to you, with you. God has done all in order for us to become the most faithful partner in this world. He has given us salvation, and He said that He's going to be with you always because we are one. And He has become a partner in your healing. He has given you this healing, so accept that right now. He has become the one who is faithful that your soul will be enjoying, would enjoy and will be so sure the peace and everything. So you'd have this foundation inside you that everything is going to be good with you and, and if you are with the Lord. I am one with the Lord and I'm in the covenant. And he came as the best partner to your house, to your family, to make the order there. And he's taking care of your kids that you can walk in this life and reach mountains and you can always rely on him and today he sees you close your eyes right now and just know and and realize that God sees you his eyes are watching all the world and he sees your heart your life and your obstacles and just believe that Whatever you had before this day is not going to be the same. It's going to be better and, and start, to s start seeing changes in your situation. And we're going to worship. And when we're going to sow, start seeing new circumstances, new obstacles in your family, in your finances. What it is if, that you want to see in your life. Start seeing it and visualizing it right now. Father God, we worship you and we thank you that we have relationship with you and we are faithful and you're faithful too and we are too. And let your support be, become stronger with every day and let us uh, be able to experience these relationships like never before. Maybe we never had, we never been that close, but right now you got closer to me, to us. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father, we call up on you to this, to this place when the man of God is going to come up and he's going to pray, when the word of God is going to, to pour out and is going to bring changes in our lives in the name of Jesus. We're, we actually are expecting the answer. We ex Father God, anoint our hearts to be able to hear you. Call up his name. Call on his name in the name of Jesus. Open up your heart before him. 
Let your ties open heavens that you can hear the word of God. Let the power of God would out be outpoured. He has never it never been outpoured the way it is right now. When the man of God is going to say the word of God, you're going to hear this in your life personally in the name of Jesus. When the power of the Lord is going to fill this temple, an apostle is going to pray. When God is going to enter a room, wherever you are, you're going to know for sure that God has come with the answer in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the healings take place. Let the generational curses uh, get destroyed. Let devil lose his power and authority over your life. Today is a day of a miracle. Give your ties and lift it up before you and say, God, I'm entrusting you. Today is the miracle of, of mine. I'm, I'm entrusting everything. And this miracle is prepared already in the name of Jesus. Our beloved ushers, you can help and gather the ties. And we are worshiping the Lord in expectation of His presence. And we are in His presence. Holy Spirit, you have anointed the man of God. That today he can serve here in Kiev Church, in the Dnipro Church where we gathered, our branch churches, our internet churches with no boundaries, each and every person that you can serve through this anointed man of God, through the Apostle. And we're open to hear you call up his name, call on God's name, call, up, call on God's name right now. And all our friends that haven't become a part of our internet church or our cell group yet, you can see those requisites on the bottom of the screens, those phone numbers that you can uh, call during the service and you can get to know us and we will get to know you. You're going to become a part of the great apostolic team that is walking on this earth and spreading the gospel of the relationship and the love of God to each and every person. Our life is going to change. And today, this day is the appointed day from God. And you're going to experience the presence of God and the anointing power of God is going to be on the stage in a very short time, in few minutes. The Christ himself is going to touch you and the power of the Holy Spirit is going to perform miracles in the name of Jesus. Father God, we bless you. We worship you. We praise you and we expect in your presence, we expect you to move and your spirit to move. И вся хвала звучит лишь для тебя, Божий Сын. Иисус, прекрасен Ты, славный, нет Тебе. Ты 
Give glory to your God right now. Hallelujah. We're th thank you, dear Levites. You can be seated for a short period of time. And very soon, our apostle is going to come up on the stage to serve you and all of us. And we would like to uh, turn your attention to one great testimony of the treatment of a Natalia, the healing of her uh, stomach of her belly let's give glory to God this miracle happened not long ago and probably they already put something on a set something on a screen and after our apostle returned back home immediately the first Sunday he came to, to, to go, he went to serve people, to pray for them. And during that prayer, our sister got a healing. Let's just watch this video and listen to our sister, what she shares with us. I'm Natasha. There are a lot of miracles in my life from God. I would like to share another one with you. And it happened in 2019. I was watching a Sunday service online and Apostle Pastor uh, Vladimir came to the, to the pulpit for the first time after Thailand and it was the end of the service and he had the word of knowledge that the woman is getting a healing of her belly, of her gaster. Just right now, the abdomen, you are having a warmth in there and all those infirmities and all those diagnoses you get a full healing they're already destroyed all those bleedings that you had everything is being restored right now total healing except the total healing there was a woman that receives a healing in her belly in her stomach in the name of jesus in her gaster 
in the name of Jesus. Before that, like a, a day ago, I mean, a day before that, I had um, a severe pain in my stomach. And I didn't know the reason of this pain. It just started. And after the prayer of our apostle, it just stopped immediately, just like that. It got disappeared. And to this day, I don't have it anymore. And to this day, I'm realizing that the way God, the way God performs his miracles because of the prayer of our apostle. Guys, I would like to tell you, please believe. God says that, that you're going to, to have faith and you're going to see miracles and continue faith, being in faith. And I would like to t uh, uh, thank Pastor Victoria and Apostle Vladimir Muntans for this dedication. And despite anything, they're moving forward and people are getting uh, freed and getting healed from all these things. And the Holy Spirit is moving through them for real and very mightily. Amen. The Holy Spirit is moving through them mightily. And people all, all around the globe are testifying about this. And we also have a little uh, a video of our brothers, Jafat, from Uzbekistan. He got a healing. He received a healing from psoriasis. And it was such a special prayer and it was such a prophetic word where in details and little things the apostle would describe this problem he's just seen this problem and he just revealed this word of knowledge about this healing so our brother actually experienced that healing on himself let's just watch this video hi dear church i'm javat i'm from uzbekistan from tashkent and i would like to testify I had psoriasis. It wasn't huge in diameter, like 10 centimeters approximately, maybe 6 inches or maybe a little bit more. I had like a little uh, injury there, a little uh, wound. I didn't pay attention to it, just applied some green on it, but appeared to be opposite. It actually grew uh, to 12 inches, maybe 13. And so I started treating it with all kinds of ointments. It would itch me so bad. And I would wanted to, to itch it. And no ointments would help me. And I understood that it's very hard to treat psoriasis actually. It actually never it's never being never being treated by no one up to, to this day. So I got afraid. Then I started uh, praying and so it reached uh, 16 inches already, maybe 14. And so we had those crusades, the series of crusades where Apostle Vladimir would pray. And in one of those TV crusades, I think it was the fifth one or the sixth one, our Apostle had a word of knowledge from God about me. And so the word of knowledge was, uh, the, was this. Right now, there is a man has a psoriasis on his left uh, foot, leg. Right now, you are getting healed. Right now, you're going to get a healing. On the left knee, you has you have a spot like psoriasis. It's like a beginning stage, but you have other spots. But on the left knee, you have a spot. So receive a total healing. Oh Jesus, I thank you, Father. And I remember that it was about me. And so I actually uh, touched, you know, kind of like grabbed that healing and, and I stood on it. And right now I don't have anything anymore. I had like a couple of days ago, I had a little one, but I don't even have anything already on that spot. Thank you so much. I'm so thankful that I've got delivered from this. I'm so happy. I'm so thankful to our beloved apostle. I thank you. I thank you, our church, that it exists that our apostle exists. Thank you for this, for this prayer. Thank you, God, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's just get up, guys, to worship our God. Just open your heart to him. Oh, Holy Spirit, we invite you here today to this place. We expect you, God, to come. 
Hallelujah.
Oh, Heavenly Father, oh, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Father God, let you, to you the glory be given. Holy Jesus, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, come. Fill each and every person, the ones that are watching. Holy Spirit, I ask you, let your touch destroy all kinds of curses, the regenerational curses, the uh, uh, other types of curses. Let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Oh, love, the love of God. Let the love of God reveal itself. Oh my God, Holy Spirit, hallelujah, hallelujah. Right now, this moment, I destroy the generational curse of diseases. The generational curses of diseases, let them be destroyed right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The generational curses of death, infirmity, the thyroid is getting healed. All those problems have left you already. New thyroid in the name of Jesus. You're getting a healing in the stomach and the pancreas is also getting healed. I've seen that there is a healing of the right kidney right now. It's taking place in the name of, of Jesus. Also, I've seen you had a not surgery on your stomach. Right now, there is a total, absolute healing, absolute healing, in the name of full healing. You had uh, problems after surgery. There is a full healing is taking place right now. Oh, Holy Spirit, hallelujah, hallelujah. By the blood of Jesus, let the deeds of the devil be destroyed. By the blood of Jesus, let the deeds of the devil be destroyed right now, this moment, by the blood of Jesus Christ. Let the let these deeds of the Satan be destroyed and broken in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, the right knee is getting healed right now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, every spirit of control, I destroy it in the name of Jesus right now, in the name of Jesus. The double, you are destroyed right now. The Antichrist spirit, I bind you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, put your hand on your place where it's pain, where it hurts you. And that moment when I call and ask the Holy Spirit to touch you, you're going to feel warmth in that spot where it hurts. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, touch, 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 touch. Holy Spirit, touch, just touch, 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 touch. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, touch. Holy Spirit, touch. I've seen a woman, she's already a woman in age, she had a terrible headache, 
She is gotten healed from it right now. Holy Spirit is touching you and getting you he and making you healed and heals you. And you're having a healing right now. And it has something to do with head and with the skin of the head where you have your hair under the skin you have some certain um, little wounds there like and I'm seeing a person right now people that person is losing hair like partly partially oh Holy Spirit oh my God oh Holy Spirit touch Touch that person, touch that person. Let the anointing of yours be here. The ones that are watching, touch those people. Touch, touch, touch Holy Spirit. Oh my God, touch, touch, touch. The, the un... The healing power. Touch. Touch. Oh, Father God, the anointing of yours, Holy Spirit. Touch. 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 Touch, Father God, oh my God. Your power, God. Your power, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Close your eyes right now. When you're getting a healing, you feel warmth or maybe some numbness in that spot where you had a disease. Accept your healing right now. Oh, Holy Spirit. The, the, the spine, there is a healing in the spine right now. Oh, in the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, touch, touch. Touch, Holy Spirit. Let your anointing be here on, the, on those people. Let your anointing be. Touch, touch, touch. Power, your power, touch with your power. Enter her soul, penetrate her soul in the name of Jesus. To full healing in the name of Jesus. Touch, oh my God, the anointing of yours, Holy Spirit, heals. We thank you. We give glory to Jesus. We give glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Touch, 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 touch. Oh my God. Hallelujah. The power, the anointing of yours. Touch, 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 touch. 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 Full healing. The healing power right now, in this moment, the healing power is moving. Oh my God, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, I, th I ask you, please, touch. 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 <coughs> Touch those people. Close your eyes and just expect the touch. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Feel in every, per, each and every person. Feel in every, 
each and every person, the ones that are watching us, the ones that are here in this hall, in this room, touch. Let the total reju rejuvenation of the relationship with you ta takes place. Holy Spirit, touch. You're giving the wish and the deed and the action. Only you, Holy Spirit, so that the name of the Lord Jesus Christ be glorified, so so the Father would be glorified in Jesus. Touch. 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 Rejuvenation of the relationship with you. The rejuvenation of the relationship with you. Those people that lost relationship with the Lord. Maybe you were in the church, but you don't have relationship with Him. You don't have a prayer. You're trying to change something yourself. And in that moment, right now, in this moment, Holy Spirit comes to rescue you right now. Holy Spirit, touch, 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 touch. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Touch, 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 Holy Spirit, touch, touch, Holy Spirit, touch, Holy Spirit. There are veins on the legs there that are getting healed right now. That is somebody is watching right now. This is a guy that is watching. God is calling up, calling you up to the ministry. Touch, touch. The, uh, you're anointing the Holy Spirit. You're anointing of the Holy Spirit. Touch. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Touch. With the power of the Holy Spirit, let your life be filled with this presence. I destroy the generational curse of witchcraft. The generational curse of witchcraft. I destroy it right now in the name of Jesus. The unclean spirit, the spirit of... Uh, of witchcraft, I command you to leave right now in the name of Jesus, the spirit of sorcery, the spirit of death. Be gone right now in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, just touch, you touch, you touch. All those acquired curses, they're getting destroyed right now. And... And the spirit of uh, poverty is getting destroyed in the name of Jesus. Your life is getting healed in the financial sphere right now. Touch, 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 touch. Touch Holy Spirit. Touch Holy Spirit. Touch Holy Spirit. You have to promise God that you're going to testify about His miracle, that you're going to glorify His name. Someone has to promise that you're going to serve. Oh, Holy Spirit, touch. Touch, 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 touch. Oh, Holy Spirit, I need you. Let's sing the song, Holy Spirit.
Let the freedom take place. The full freedom. That curse is being destroyed right now in the name of Jesus. Right now. Oh, my Lord. Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit fills us with His power and glory. I really need you, Holy Spirit. We are expecting you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, touch. Let the freedom come comes to each person. Somebody is getting healed from the epilepsy. I believe epilepsy. Holy Spirit, touch. Devil, go away. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Leave him. Leave him, Holy Spirit. I need you. Holy Spirit, hallelujah. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. hallelujah, hallelujah. The spirit of infirmity and pain, leave right now. The spirit of poverty, I bind you. And I command you to leave right now. The curse of poverty is being destroyed in the name of Jesus. Oh my God. Hallelujah. We need you, Holy Spirit. Tell, say it to him. Let the name of Jesus be glorified. Oh, my God. Fill. Fill us. Glory. Holy Spirit. The knee, the part of the knee is getting healed. Continue singing, guys, just a little bit lower. Holy Spirit. Dear friends, the ones that are watching us and the ones that are here, talk to him right now. The chest and the lungs are getting healed. The heart also as well. In the name of Jesus. Oh my God.
Hallelujah. Oh my God. Holy Spirit. Your anointing is coming down upon us. The anointing for ministry. The anointing to withstand the devil. Holy Spirit, touch. Touch, Holy Spirit. Touch, Holy Spirit, touch. The anointing, the anointing, the anointing. Your power, Holy Spirit. Let it be on him. Let it remain on him. Somebody is experiencing the touch and the call. Somebody is fighting it. God is giving you a vict the victory. Holy Spirit, touch. Your anointing. Your anointing. Oh, Holy Spirit. Touch, Holy Spirit. Let the curses be broken. Total healing of the soul from betrayal in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, that word that you released from the mouth of the man of God, let these seconds pass very deep. And when you accept the word of God as the word of God, only then it's getting revealed and does its job. It has to do with all the people that are watching right now because of this live stream, the ones that are connected to us. Close your eyes right now and let the Holy Spirit give him the opportunity to reach the depth of, of your soul through the, through the revelation through the realization. The faith is the acceptance through the revelation, through the realization. The presence of God is here and wherever you are, those that are watching, let nothing distract you from this. You are in the presence of the Lord. His reality is, is being felt and that anointing that were, was released because of the prayer of the anointed man of God is sent to a specific goal for your life. Continue to talk to the Lord right now. Talk to Him. Be feel free. If, if, if the Holy Spirit is making someone to, uh, to uh, fall on their knees, do it freely. Somebody that was sitting, God is going to ask you to uh, to raise up and do something that you've never done before. Check yourselves. Start checking your parts of the body wherever you uh, you had pain because of the curse. It's already being destroyed because of the word of the apostle. The man of God is being destroyed and. 
and the legal right of this curse is already being destroyed. That moment when the word of God was being released to destroy those curses and acquired curses and the Holy Spirit would show you the reasons of why the devil is still does its job. But right now, during this prayer that is taking place right now, when the apostle is, was talking the word of the Holy Spirit, that that witchcraft is being destroyed and acquired curses and generational curses are being destroyed and the diseases are getting destroyed got destroyed that word has given you the freedom liberty you're you're being freed from that the reasons were being exposed you understand why and through what that regenerational curse took place in your life at that moment the right of the devil to do something in your life was was destroyed in the name of Jesus it probably had something to do with the healing of your body start checking yourselves uh, push those uh, press on those body parts when you had pains do something you never done before maybe you could not kneel down maybe you could not bend or something just check yourselves right now maybe you could not turn your your body start let the spirit that the the Holy Spirit do its job that he has prepared for this day in the name of Jesus we can we, we command you we commend ourselves to worship you and let the word of God that was through the Apostle let it reach the soul and the spirit and the mind let the scripture be get fulfilled fulfilled god has sent his word and healed though all of the those and uh, and he and he stopped them from death holy spirit is is understandable Jesus is understandable you understand these things and those generational curses were were being destroyed by the power of the Holy Spirit except that the generational curse of the early death is being destroyed it was destroyed in the name of Jesus God prepared this word specifically for this situation in this day that today you're going to see the changes in the name of Jesus, Father, the word that was said, told in love has power to change destinies. You anointed, anointed your servant, your apostle, your apostle to bring healing into the souls of hearts and destinies. Wherever it was a uh, spirit of rejection acquired, uh, curses or maybe you acquired that within with your birth right now right now you're getting the acceptance from the Lord there is no obstacle whatever that pastor said right now because right now I'm in the in the do in the job let's say in the deed in the action of that word somebody uh, experience the rebirth of the new relationship between them and the Lord right now here in this uh, temple and if you're that person that accepted that from the Holy Spirit I would like to see you waving who accepted that wave us please this is the new time and you my dear friend if you're watching us if you if you if you're watching us through the Holy Spirit just comment your your feelings your testimonies and just let it be a testimony let it be a testimony before the whole spiritual world before Jesus just testify in the spirit that you have a new relationship with the living God in the name of Jesus Holy Spirit is going to continue working through that word and that anointing that is has already released because of the prayer of a man of God it's very important that your heart, your soul, your thoughts, your body would become the foundation to that. In the name of Jesus, close your eyes right now. The prayer continues. 
It's going to flow as the Holy Spirit wants it to be. Nobody can command the Holy Spirit to uh, move a certain way. Time and the obstacle and the situation. Whatever is happening right now, this is that particular time and the appointed moment. The word that is being sent through the Holy Spirit is anointed to change your view on your life, on yourself, to take out those chains and boundaries and from your life in the name of Jesus, on your life. Father God, we continue to remain in your presence. We uh, honor your presence. The job that you have begun, that you started, we ask you to to make this into a completion, to be to make it complete, so we can testify about the living God in the name of Jesus. You are in God's presence. Give the Holy Spirit the opportunity to operate with you, and right now we are going to experience the miracle that God has made because of the prayer of the Apostle thanks to the Apostle's prayer hi guys I'm Alexandra and I would like to share my testimony about the healing well two years ago the doctors told me that I had um, my um, my nose uh, block locked and blocked and and I had uncomfortable situation and they had to, uh, you know, I actually even forgot about this problem, but three months ago, uh, my left ear started hurting me terribly, so I went to a doctor and they told me to, that this is just uh, a titus and they prescribed some drops, some tablets, and a couple of weeks and everything is going to be good. So I've I've done its course, performed its course, and uh, the pain would would kind of like go down, but didn't go away completely. It hasn't wasn't really disturbing me again, so I kind of like forgot about this. I gave up because it didn't really disturb me. So I sort of even forgot about it. But on the 18th of March, it would start to hurt me so bad. And for five years, it's been hurting me so bad. And it was unbearable. I couldn't even touch my ear. And on the 23rd of March, I'm sitting, and they're all watching the TV crusade, and my family and me, and, and we started watching together. And there was a moment when Apostle came up to the stage, and so he started praying. I'm praying for a person that has inflammation in his ear, hemorrhitis, and today's Holy Spirit is uh, releasing you from this. The left ear is getting healed to fully. And, I, and I, I was so interested in that prayer. I started listening to this and watch and understand all his words. And when he started talking about about this, the girl that is uh, lower than 23 and she has hemorrhitis and she has pains in her left ear, I was shocked because that was me. I could not believe that that was me. It's not like I understood this, but I kind of like, per, you know, perceived that this was me. And and when he's told about me getting healed without any reason, I just started crying and I had so much tears. And I understood that this was about me. And I knew and I know that that was about me. And I got healed. So I started touching my ear and feeling it. And I understood that I had to have no pain anymore. And everything was just dis disappeared just like that. And I'm so happy and I'm so thankful for our pastor uh, uh, Victoria and our pastor uh, Apostle Vladimir for their prayers and for what they're doing and I would like to wish those that are watching us and the ones that believe that the most importantly is to have faith and what you have over here inside you thank you so much guys bye bye with such a positive uh, testimony amazing
We had a prayer right now. Dear friends, whoever experienced the touch of God, it can, uh, it has something to do, might have something to do with your health, with your obstacles, with your thinking. The ones that are watching us testify all the time, just text us, uh, shoot yourselves on the video, just like this girl, tell us about your uh, testimonies for the love of God that He has revealed upon your lives, for those about those miracles always uh, worship God and we would like to show you another little video because there are so many miracles that are uh, you know they are touching all the spheres of our lives and we have this uh, miracle the healing of a baby from Russia we have our uh, sister here Ludmila she she would she she would like to testify and the ones that are praying for their kids let let us just listen to this and get fulfilled with faith hi guys i would like to share my testimony about the healing i'm luda i'm from russia i will start from a little pre-story i have a daughter she's five years old her name is eve and uh, last summer we got sick and we had a, the temperature was so high and it would be there would remain and the pediatrician could not understand what's going on and the blood was very bad it was such an inflammation in the blood we didn't know what it is so we were hospitalized and uh, so the experienced doctor understood that we have something in the throat and uh, actually everything was was okay after that so this year not long ago I took my uh, I picked up my kid from uh, the kindergarten and she had the same symptoms as the last time she had the blocked nose and I would give her the antivirus uh, medicine nothing would help her apart from that we've been taking antivirus medicine for four days nothing helped and on top of that she started having this terrible cough and it would not go away so I had a, so I started panicking I thought that maybe we won't be hospitalized after all this and I would watch all those crusades and uh, the way Apostle was talking that we feel these physical um, you know uh, revelation of the Holy Spirit and we experience his touch and I was so interested to feel this how it is to actually feel the whole, the job of the Holy Spirit inside me and so we would uh, pray for the healing of my baby and so I came from work and I turned on the TV I hope I turned on the TV crusade and so by the morning the Apostle started praying and he said that there's a little girl she's from four to eight years old she has a curly hair she actually described my daughter fully and she said that right now you're getting the answer to your prayers I can see that there is a family. I can see a little girl. She's approximately from four, maybe seven years old. She has this uh, curly hair. Maybe uh, there are long hair. There is a light hair. And right now, at this moment, you are getting your answer. God is touching you and is touching your house and he's touching your daughter in the name of Jesus by the blood of Jesus she, she's being protected and then understood the actual job of the Holy Spirit the way he works and when he said that during that prayer something penetrated my heart and I understood that this is that prayer was from me and from my kid and it was disturbing me so bad I didn't know what to do and we would pray and take medicine and nothing would help us but but when I came from work to home that day in the morning we got a healing from God through the Apostle and God has healed my daughter just like that no medicine nothing just like that within a day she stopped coughing no block no blockage nothing 
That's how we got our miracle. And then I'm, and now I'm expecting the miracle for myself. And I'm so thankful to my Jesus, my precious Jesus. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank That's how people worship God all over the world. And you do the same, guys. Hallelujah. Thankful moms, parents, they're thanking Jesus and worship Him. They thank Him and worship. Each prayer of the Apostle brings answers and miracles into uh, a lot of people's lives. And right now, in like a few minutes ago, people got already healed and they got the answer from God on their lives today. So always call us, always uh, glorify the name of the Lord, messengers and social media, always give them glory. We would like to watch another little video. It has something to do with the healing of the soul. Devil attacks pers a person on the level of the soul, tries to bond him inside, to bond so that those, those relationships would be broken in families, amongst uh, husbands and wives, parents and kids, some deviation, some walls. But today, thankfully, to what God has showed through the Apostle, that those that are suffering could get freed because the Spirit of God is on him and all the deeds of the devil and inside the soul and in relationship they're getting destroyed because of the power of the Lord and the love comes on this and their relationship self-respect respect to others forgiveness let's just watch one of these examples of such an incredible touch hi guys I'm Irina I'm from Germany and I'm watching this channel and I'm thankful to the Lord for this revelation what God has opened God comes to our houses and does the job. And so I had the same miracle during the last TV crusades. God would give the word of knowledge through the apostle. And so apostle said that we should ask forgiveness from our parents and through that foundation of the repentance God is bringing forth new life. So God is getting God is getting many people released through the repentance, your relationship, your uh, the way you treat your parents, uh, particularly mother. It, it causes a lot of problems into your life, but right now, in your lives, but right now, the moment of truth enters your life, repent before God and promise to repent before people. Maybe you don't have your mother alive, but, but in the spiritual world, you can say, you can ask for forgiveness because you're standing before God right now in the spiritual realm and you ask him for forgiveness by the blood of Jesus let you be washed right now let you be cleansed the broken destiny that you had before and only right now you you understand that you lived your bad destiny and you were copying the destiny of your mom so God has showed me the situation of 30 years ago. I was a little girl, and I remember accusing my mom with, with the, the way she lived. She would disrespect me, and we had these bad relationships, and she had bad relationships, and, and she was disrespected, and I always claimed that I'm never going to have the same life. So I got married too, and it was terrible. I had the same thing, something that I was afraid of so much. And no matter what I've, what I've done, nothing would have happened. Only right now, right now, this acquired curse is getting destroyed right now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. And only right now, this moment, you're being rebirthed for a new life.
So you couldn't choose before. Right now you can choose because you had a curse that was ruling your life, your mind, your decisions and obstacles. But today, the grace of the Lord is set you free, has set you free. And so through the word of the apostle, for that moment when it got repented, God has God has given me this assurance that I don't have the dead end anymore, and I re accepted that because I received this uh, this relief, and so we started having good relationship between me and my husband. We it was sort of dead before we had a wall, but right now it's so alive. It's such a warmth, you know, this closure. And I'm so thankful for those emotions, for our apostle, for this gift from heavens that God is giving us grace and the way to acknowledge him and this, uh, this God's teaching and for every partner. I thank God it is such a, such a gift to remain in this all the time. Just watch those TV crusades. It's so important because God is preparing you before the, and before the miracle and for the miracle. And these testimonies that we have is the, and God has come to my life through those testimonies. And God has come to made all these things happen. And I'm so thankful to him. I'm so blessed. And I bless everybody and I bless the apostle and let God makes everything happens that he planned to happen. How amazing it is to listen to these uh, testimonies and miracles and right now I asked you guys to, uh, to write us some testimonies and there is a Rita Rubis that is texting about this and she actually wants to testify and so Apostle said that the veins were getting healed the veins on the legs were getting healed do you remember that prayer today the, the Holy Spirit has touched me and uh, this fire covered me. This is my uh, my healing. I was ex I was expecting it so much, and then I, I had this heaviness in my legs, and I ex and I expected my miracle, and it came. Glory to God! God is a faithful God. Be ex. Back, expect God and he knows about your diseases that are torturing you give glory to God give glory to the Lord because he is worthy he takes away our sorrows he heals them let's just give glory to God let's just give our, our God the glory amen Давай будем славить нашего великого Бога. Он достоин все славы. Аминь. Нет никого, кто с тобою сравнится, ты великий. Небо и земли, и пред твоим лицом каждый скрыт. 
огонь горит И твое слово что? Словно динамит Встревает страх Пронзает тьму И если Бог за нас Что? Я все смогу Стой на мне Огонь горит И твое слово Словно динамит Встревает страх Пронзает тьму И если Бог за нас Я все смогу, твой дух на мне, огонь горит, и твое слово, словно динамит, взрывай страх, танцай дух, и если Бог за нас, друзья, я все смогу. Ты все могущий Бог, твой для него сейчас, ты все могущий Бог. do all things worship God loudly today look how many testimonies we've got look the way he reveals himself in your life give glory to God are you ready to worship him in joy shout out to the Lord
Она дает тебе силу. Поэтому Павел, он писал, радуйтесь. Всегда говорю, радуйтесь. Аминь. Аллилуйя. Скажи, радость наполняет все внутри. И даже если это не так, скажи верой, и она обязательно появится. Радость наполняет все внутри. Наполняет все внутри. Радость наполняет все внутри. Льется из сердца моего. Радость наполняет все внутри. Наполняет все внутри. Радость наполняет все внутри. Льется из сердца моего. Радость, Господи, мое, это моя сила. is my power hallelujah be seated guys for one minute for a short period of time well I was just reading a testimony and uh, this this sister is already recorded a video for us would you like to watch it guys let's watch it let's listen to it Guys, I would like to testify about the miracle that just happened to me because of the prayer of the apostle when he prayed and he said that the veins on the legs are getting healed right now. My body would burn and it was such a touch of the Holy Spirit. I knew that I'm the one to get healed because I was expecting this for so long. Uh, they would hurt so much in certain places. And... And they would be uh, blue because of those veins. There would be uh, severe veins on my on my legs, and I was uh, expecting this healing for so long. And I would just uh, wait on, on 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 the Lord, and He touched me so bad. And I'm so so good, and I'm so happy because of that. I'm so thankful to the Apostle and to the Lord. All glory to our God. We have a photo of this. Can you imagine? The legs before and the legs after. You don't even we don't even see those veins anymore. I don't know whether it can we can see this or not, but it's fine. Anyways, so the the legs are clean. 
And she is so happy. Okay, they've showed it to us. All right, amazing. Okay. So right now we're going to um, to worship God. Hi, Apostle. Hi, Pastor. Hi, guys. Remain here with me. Just be here with me. Guys, I greet all of you here. Thank you guys so much for your prayers, for your faithfulness. Thank you. Give glory to God today. Today, I would like to pray so you can have very strong relationship with the Lord because it's the most important thing in our lives. The biggest gain is when you have the relationship uh, with the Holy S with the with the Lord. This is a fact, and uh, everything that you have is being built on that. So when you lose the relationship with the Lord, you have to uh, you have to uh, restore this relationship. And there's some people that lost those relationship with the Lord. And they're probably thinking on how they can restore it. Do you know how? Because of your faith. Faith is the most important that is needed in the relationship with the Lord. Faith. And you have to just little by little. But when we're going to have a prayer right now, you're going to see and the Holy Spirit is going, the way the Holy Spirit is going to touch not only your body, but your soul, your spirit. What do you think? What is the relationship with the Lord? It's probably, uh, well, I can say a lot of things about that, but this is the life itself itself uh, when you are getting touched with the holy spirit you lose yourself and there is only him being there and you don't even want anything else you just want to be with him and so it never stops amen I think that those people that actually tried the, you know, experience the real relationship with God, they can't uh, leave Lord anymore. Maybe uh, there are some of those that never experienced that. You have to experience that because this is the peace in your heart when you have the pain and sorrow and the storm. God is fulfilling the desire and the action in us because of His favor, His favor on your life for you. Amen. Let it be so today. I would like to pray for everybody that are watching us here and that are here today. Let us all raise up Get up, Holy Spirit. Today you're the center of all. Jesus, you are the most important. You are the center of everything. And the Father, you are the center of everything. Your love. Your love, Father, your favor their grace and your friendship the holy spirit everything let it remain with each and every person let it all remain with those that are watching us holy spirit touch 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 Oh, Holy Spirit, just talk, talk to him right now, communicate with him. Let your name be glorified, Jesus. 
for the relationship with God, the price was being paid. It was paid. Hallelujah, Holy Spirit, touch. Holy Spirit, touch. Fill the soul. There are a lot of spirit, uh, so the healing of the soul are taking place. Emotional healings. There is also a healing in the body, the hormonal healing, horm hormones. Everything is coming back to its order in the name of Jesus. Oh, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Touch. Touch, Holy Spirit. Touch. Fill with your healing power the spirit of every person. Where it's ashes, with their, their ashes. Let the fire be instead. In the name of Jesus. God. Levites. Sing the song of worship right now. Seek the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Seek the living God right now. Close your eyes, the one that are watching us. Just listen. Hallelujah. Seek the living God. Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. We worship you. Oh Lord, your grace and your favor in the forgiveness of sins. The grace, your grace. Renovation of the relationship with you. A restoration of the relationship. Hallelujah. We worship you. Holy Spirit. Seek him right now. Close your eyes. Talk to the Holy Spirit. Talk to Jesus. With the Father. Continue to sing, continue to sing, continue singing. I worship you. Tell this to God yourselves.
Hallelujah. Accept. Accept the Holy Spirit. Accept His presence. Accept His power. Accept. Accept His love. He's here. He's the one that you need the most. Nobody needs you that much as He does. Just accept that. Accept His power, His love. His grace. Let Him fill you inside. He wants to share with you. He wants to share his love with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, we thank you. Thank you, God. We enjoy your presence. We enjoy the, clo enjoy the closure with you. You are everything we need. Hallelujah. Let's just worship God. Let your eyes remain closed. Think only about your God. He accepts you the way you are. He needs you the way you are. The blood of Jesus is enough to make you complete. Accept the Holy Spirit by faith. Accept His presence by faith. Don't look at yourself. Stand still. Look at the one that rescued you. Look at the one that needs you the most. The one that loves you. That accepts you. He is the Holy Spirit. He wants to share with you. 
He wants to share his feelings with you, his thoughts with you. He is here for you today. On the other side of the screen, you're opening your hearts and you're having a conversation with him. Enjoy this time with the Lord. Enjoy this presence of Christ. Get to know your God, the way He treats you. Those moments, when you are getting distracted from your business, those moments in His presence are very important for God. He is clothing you with His power. He is equipping you. He is filling you with the faith, fulfilling you. Those those spheres where you are weak, He is strengthening you and the power is filling you the power to go forward through his presence is filling you right now to win he is the one he he's the only one to know which way you're supposed to go in order to win the victory only he knows what you have to do what he has to do to make you happy. Only he knows what do you need the most right now. He knows how to help you. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, your power is on every person. You're sharing your love with us. You're sharing it with us. The way you love us. There are people that were watching, looking at themselves through the filter of their deeds and their obstacles and mistakes on how often they pray or how often they go to church. But God needs you the way you are. He needs you in any condition, in any, any clothing, in any look. He's not denying you. He fights for you, for your heart, for your attention. Make him the main in your life. Bow down before him. Submit to him. Follow the Holy Spirit. And the glory of God shall fulfill you and your whole life. Holy Spirit, lead us. Lead us. You're the main, you're the most important. You're the one and only who knows where to go and what to do. Help us to follow you. Help us to walk with you all our lives. We dedicate them to you. They belong to you. 
to be yours and never take our eyes from you. Holy Spirit. Let's worship, worship more. Dear Church, our service is reaching its end. God has granted us with such nice moments of His presence and His power, has made a lot of miracles, performed a lot of miracles. Next Sunday service, Apostle is going to lead next Sunday service. Amen! And we're going to have a prayer uh, of the destruction of the curses, regenerational acquired curses. Also, dear friends, after this service, here in this temple, we're going to have a prayer marathon. And we're inviting you to this prayer. Thank you guys that are watching us. We thank those that have turned on the TV today, our beloved church, our genuine family. We're so sure that each and every one of you experienced a real victory and blessing and the power of God on themselves. We bless each and every one of you, our dear friends, and let, let's worship our Lord God Almighty. И будем петь для него. Аминь. Аллилуйя. Танцевать его свободе. Будем танцевать в радости. Давай, давай, давай прославь. Вадим шум хвалы. Будем танцевать его свободе. Будем танцевать в радости. Давай, давай прославим, поднимем шум хвалы, мы будем танцевать. Эй, 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 будем танцевать. Эй, 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 есть благая песня для тебя. Спасибо, что были с нами в прямом эфире. Мы молимся за вас и ваши семьи. Если у вас есть вопросы или вы хотите посетить наше собрание в любом городе, звоните или пишите по номеру 0800 21 15 31 или плюс 38 067 550 34 24. Буду танцевать пред